hello everyone welcome back to the channel in the previous video we have discussed about nomenclature right and under which we discussed binomial nomenclature and trinomial nomenclature i will just revise you with trinomial nomenclature so in trinomial nomenclature the organism is given scientific name with three words the first one represents the genus the second one represents the species and the third one represents the sub species and there are many examples in animal world where we can see. so the first word represents the genus second word species and third word represents the subspecies for example curvus splendens splendens which is the scientific name of Indian crow and in the previous video we have already discussed about the scientific name of humans which is homo sapiens sapiens now in the animal world there are many examples where the genus name and species name is same and where the genus and the species name is same this condition is known as tautonyms tautonyms is the condition when the genus name and the species name of an organism is same and moderately known or specifically known tautonyms are naja naja which is the scientific name of indian cobra after that we have velpus velpus which is the scientific name of red fox so there are many examples in case of animal world where the species and the genus name is same but the exception here is that these tautonyms are only considered in case of animal world these are not considered in case of plant world you will never find tautonym when you will scientifically name a plant so in the plant world there is no tautonym and there is no such scientific name of any plant where the genus name and the species name will be same okay among the trinomial nomenclature and the binomial nomenclature most commonly used is the binomial nomenclature i hope now you guys are able to understand nomenclature how do we name scientifically name an organism what are the rules to scientific scientifically name an organism now we will continue with taxonomy systematics and taxonomic categories right so first of all taxonomy taxonomic term was given by kendall taxonomy 
is the branch of science which deals with identification nomenclature and classification of an organism so taxonomy includes identification how do we identify or an organism nomenclature how we scientifically name it and classification how we put it in a different levels or categories according to the some similarities and some dissimilarities that we will study further the second one is the systematics systematics was first time used by linus sorry for my spelling mistake and it was used by linus in his book systema naturae so basically systematics deals with the taxonomic and evolutionary relationship between organism it includes taxonomy in which we have identification we have to classify the organisms and we have to name it scientifically name it and it also includes evolutionary relationship that how that organism has been evolved and what is its relationship between the organisms which are extinct or the organisms which are already present right so systematics includes both your taxonomy and your evolutionary relationship of an organism the third one we have here is taxonomic category taxonomic categories includes levels in which we group the organism right so according to previous taxonomic categories there were some levels which were genus species class order and variety these are the old taxonomic categories and after that some new taxonomic categories were also included or added which were kingdom phylum and family now after the <clears throat> after the discovery of this old taxonomic categories and these new taxonomic categories now comes the time to merge them or to order them properly after ordering them variety was excluded from this taxonomic categories and now these were placed in proper order which is known as hierarchy so basically hierarchy is placing taxonomic categories into a proper order so now this taxonomic categories or hierarchies are popularly known by these orders the topmost or the largest one we include 
kingdom. After that we have phylum or division. Here after kingdom the, these two categories are for different organisms. Phylum is for animal kingdom or popularly known for animal kingdom and division is popularly known for plant kingdom. After that comes class which includes order and order includes family then genus and genus includes species. So here Kingdom is the largest group we have and species is the smallest group we have. They have to be placed in this order only. You cannot rearrange them according to your facility. But you can put them in ascending or descending order. As you are putting them in this order or writing them like this, you have to show that these are in ascending or in descending order. Because species is the smallest group, many species combine to form genus. Like that, genus combines to form family, families combine to form order, orders combine to form class, and then phylum, and then kingdom. So, means here you have written them in your ascending order right and if you will put species in the top then you will put genus then you will put family order class phylum and then kingdom so this is in descending order and this is in ascending order so like this you can write it anyway but you cannot rearrange their places in the place which they are put so hierarchy is this only that placing taxonomic categories into a proper order guys i know guys uh, learning these terms can be difficult for you in this proper order so there are many mnemonics to learn the taxonomic categories like the most popular one is king Phillips came over for great supper. King with the kingdom, Phillips with the phylum, with that division, came to class over order for family, great genus, supper species so by this mnemonic you can also learn the order of placing taxonomic category properly and there are many and there are many other mnemonics to learn the order of these taxonomic categories now the important thing here is one of the important thing here is that we are talking about taxonomic categories so you should know about father of taxonomy right like we are studying taxonomy we have discussed this term we have discussed taxonomy category so who is the person behind this taxonomy term so the father of taxonomy is Linus again I'm wrong with the spelling so the father of taxonomy is Linus. So guys, today we discussed about nomenclature. We have discussed previously also, but here I have told you again about trinomial nomenclature. Then we discussed about totonyms. Totonyms is the condition where the genus and the species name is same. Example like Naja Naja, Vulpus Vulpus, which is considered only in case of the animal world, not in case of the 
plant world and among trinomial and binomial nomenclature most commonly used is the binomial nomenclature after that we studied taxonomy systematics and taxonomic categories where taxonomy is the branch of science which deals with the identification nomenclature and classification of an organisms systematics is the branch of science which deals with taxonomy and your evolutionary relationship in an organism systematic term was coined by linus and was used by linus in his book systema naturae after that taxonomic categories which are the different levels in which the organisms are grouped according to their nomenclature identification and classification Older taxonomic categories were genus, species, class, order, and variety, and the new one added to them were kingdom, phylum, and family. When these categories are placed in the order, variety was excluded. And placing these categories in a proper order is known as hierarchy. And the hierarchical levels that we discussed or we are studying from the previous class our kingdom phylum class order family genus and species right you can write it in any way in the descending order or in the ascending order there are mnemonics which are given to you to learn them in a proper order when i have given one example i have already given and the important thing is that who is the father of taxonomy here it is linus okay guys